guys and welcome to another video. For today's video, I have three vegan high protein breakfast recipes. The first recipe is a delicious vegan breakfast sandwich. The second recipe is a savory cream of rice taco bowl. And the third recipe is a loaded veggie potato hash casserole. I promise you're going to love these recipes, so let's get started. So I'm gonna share with you how I make these amazing breakfast sandwiches. I'm using for the egg part, my famous omelet vegan recipe that I posted a while back on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure to do so. These are perfect for that person that's always on the go and just wants the simple thing that they can grab and go in the morning. So you guys must try it. First, we're going to heat a nonstick pan over medium low heat. Blend tofu, garbanzo flour, water, onion powder, black salt, and pepper until achieving a batter consistency. Now you won't want to skip the black salt. This is what gives this omelet an eggy flavor. Pour some of the batter into a hot pan and let it cook for three minutes. Be patient and don't flip omelet until top is firm to the touch. Once it's firm to the touch, carefully flip the omelet and cook for three more minutes. Add vegan cheese, a veggie stir fry, or whatever you would like. I'm gonna keep it simple and just add some spinach and onions, fold the omelet, and place it in my breakfast sandwich. So now I am going to assemble these breakfast sandwiches. I am using Dave's Killer Bread for my English muffin. I love these, you can find them anywhere and they have extra protein. For my cheese, I am using just my favorite plant-based cheese from Whole Foods but you can use whatever cheese you want or omit completely. You can use sauces, whatever you want. These are so customizable to your own liking. So make sure to give them a try. Like I said, I just made four of these for the week, so took no time. So I hope you guys try this recipe. These look delicious. Ten out of 10. I would love to thank today's sponsor, Pride Foods. Pride Foods is a small veteran owned company that makes it amazing organic flavored hot rice cereals. I love this product so much. I've been using Pride Foods since my 2020 prep. I'm making cream of rice today because the carb load is real today. I'm obsessed with the range of flavors. My favorite is the chocolate brownie and the blueberry muffin, but I also love the unflavored because I can customize to my liking. They just came out with their first savory flavor, the taco rice and grinds, and I just knew I needed to include them in this video. Pry Foods was kind enough to provide me with a discount code for you guys. If you would like to try them, use code NATALIE at checkout and save 10% off your purchase. If you guys wanna have a breakfast fiesta, you have to try this taco bowl. This is super customizable to your own liking as well, so you can pick your favorite vegetables. I picked some fajita veggies, some beans, my favorite protein, which is seitan, and the delicious rice and grinds taco flavor. In a pot, we're going to bring four cups of water to a boil. We're going to slowly add the rice and grind until they're nice and combined. We're gonna return this to a boil and reduce the heat to low. We're gonna leave this uncovered and simmer for about 30 seconds or until you reach your desired consistency. I like to leave mine for quite a bit, probably like one to two minutes, just because I like mine super creamy and a little bit firm. Then we're going to remove from heat and we're going to let it stand for at least one minute. And you wanna make sure that you're stirring well before serving. 
So now that I cook my rice and grinds, I am ready to assemble my bowls. I made four servings for the week, so that way I don't have to think about it throughout the week. And I picked my favorite vegetables, so I have here some fajita peppers and onions. I have some homemade pico de gallo, a little bit of avocado, but I won't prep the avocado because then it'll get nasty, but this is something that I'll enjoy today. And then I have some cilantro, lots of cilantro, we love that. Some lime to squeeze, and you can use for protein whatever protein you like. You can use a tofu scramble, you can use some pea protein crumbles, but I'm using today Seitan's Torizo by Uptowns. I love this one, the macros are amazing. And I'm gonna use a serving of this on each bowl and a few beans. These bowls look insane. They smell amazing. So I cannot wait to dig in. I feel like I need to get a little bit bite, a little bit of everything so I can get it all in one bite. Let's go. That is so good. That is really good, guys. It doesn't even need any extra seasoning or anything like that. Like the rice and grinds taco flavor is so good it might be my new favorite you guys have to try this one let me show you how to make this epic loaded veggie potato hash it makes six servings for the week super easy you just toss all the ingredients together Pop it in the oven and that's it. You have six meals for the week. Start off by preheating your oven at 350 degrees. In a blender, I'm going to add a block of silken tofu. This is my absolute favorite silken tofu. You can find it in the grocery section. Highly recommend it. It doesn't have any aftertaste. We're also gonna add some garbanzo bean flour, soy milk or water, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. We're gonna blend that up until it's nice and smooth. Set aside and let's work on our hash. You want to finely chop all of your vegetables. I'm choosing broccoli, peppers, onions, carrots. Be, feel free to use whatever you like. I'm going to add some herbs and even a whole bag of potato hash. Once you have all your vegetables all cut up, we're going to add the wet mixture to the vegetables and you wanna make sure everything is nice and coated. Transfer the mixture to a casserole dish. Make sure everything is well spread. So to up the protein on this recipe, I'm gonna use my favorite tempeh bacon from Light Life and some cheese. And this is one of my current favorite cheeses. So it's queso fresco from for ranger i think is how you say it but it's really yummy it's brand new to the market and both of these things i get at my local grocery store and what we're going to do now is bake for 60 minutes or until the top is firm or golden guys the house smells so good right now i cannot wait to try this this recipe is so simple and it's like the perfect recipe to get rid of like all your vegetables that are about to go back in the fridge. Just toss them in here. Like it's just the perfect recipe. Check that out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of everything. That is good, really good. Super flavorful. You can taste all the vegetables. Mmm, so good. Look at all the food that I have for George and I for the week. 
I am set and I'm excited to have amazing flavorful meals for the entire week. Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite recipe? Which one are you most excited to try out? And again, big shout out to Pride Foods for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like it, you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here and I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna keep eating. Bye. Was that good? Um, in one